A lot of women say they won't date a broke man, and for some, it has nothing to do with money at all. She's done it before. And I'm going to say this. Okay, just hear me out. I know the lashes. They're getting done Tuesday. Okay? It's even sad when you try to date a man that don't got it, right? Like, they will do, they'll go to great lengths to make you feel like, I don't never want to feel that type of way again. Because the Dusties, the ones that want, was risking it all to make you lose everything, the one that you just had a baby stressing you out their postpartum, making you have a miscarriage or do, do all that freaking stress, or it can even be worse because I know stories where it's like, you know, like... I just come to say, like, I think nothing more priceless than your peace and your safety. Like, the fact someone would do all that energy, like, go to great lengths, like, it's scary, y'all. I'm not going to cap. It's fucking scary. Like. Because everybody went through it. Everybody, even from the tarot community, like, they dealt with one person. Maybe he tried to be a SoundCloud ra rapper, baby daddy, putting you through hell. Not even realizing all that hell you put th put them through is the reason why they blessed now. Even that dude trying to make his BM, which is not even a, she's not even a BM, like, uh, uh, look, look bad, Haley and, and, and Samara, like, they're really cool people. And that's why I tell you, I'm not, I'm not afraid to be confident. I'm not afraid to shake the room or trigger people because I'm not trying to trigger you. I'm never trying to feel that type of way where I let the smallest shit slide or somebody who would not even go to great lengths to make sure I'm straight, safe, and secure and, and at home and have a place. But they'll watch my page. They'll watch my page. I literally have someone, right? Where I told this lady, that helped me got something back from unemployment. It was just $500, right? And this dude went through my mail, lied, saying, oh, they released the funds, because you knew I was waiting for it while I was working this job. And try to make me feel like, even though he told me I could use his address, that I don't got an address, I don't got a place. Then he went to great lengths, knowing that I just got the job day one. He the only one that knew I was going to work. The tow man literally told me, like, Somebody called to get my car towed. And if it wasn't for the sugar daddy, this nice man that was watching me from YouTube all the way from New York, and said, I would have been fucked. Because he was even saying, like, you're not mad. Oh, now you know how it feels to be without a car. Um, Like, you know, you need that car to sleep in. I'm like, why are you rambling? Like, like you snitching on yourself. Like, you did something bad. And I just can't, I can't, I can't, I don't want nobody going through that. You know, and that, and that weirdo too is still watching my page. Like people will kick you down. Like I had the 800 credit score. I had the nice crib. My downfall was being nice to people that I saw down and got them up and they left me. They said, fuck me. They even probably said, fuck y'all. Like I even have men and women that will tell me stories like they still recovering from that. And people don't want to feel that type of way. They know how big their heart is, so they guard it. They know how helpful they are, so they guard it. Because people will really slime ball the fuck out of you, and they'll know that you're a genuine person. And then, it's even weird, years later, they'll call you. I'm pretty sure y'all never called y'all ex. They to be the weird one calling you in your DMs, acting like you the one that slept with my best friend. You're the one that cheated on me. You the one that slept with my mom. Like, like stories like that. Like, bro, like, crash your car. Did something to your car to cause extra maintenance so you couldn't even have money saved. Taking money from you because of their bills problem and top of your bills problem so you can never leave, so you can never grow. Struggling to get a car. And then now you're in your mid-30s or push it to your 30s, 27, going to your 30s or 24. And this person wants you to waste your 20s feeling stressed and behind Triggering you in every fucking aspect, knowing you want to be successful before 30 because it's for you. You have me, maybe it could even be because people left you down and hanging, but that shit is trifling as fuck, and I don't trust people like that. 
I'm talking to people that don't ever want to feel that type of way again. Like you probably even have people talking shit, how embarrassing it is. Like you did the best that you can. Some of us raised our own selves. We didn't know how people are. We had to experience life to learn the lesson. And that's why I can't stand somebody who is just like, you don't even want to do the simple effort. I love seeing a man blow up the balloons, trying to make his girl smile, buying flowers, simple flowers that cost $20. If they could buy a dub or 3.5, you don't think they could buy flowers? Knowing that you like flowers? I'll never forget somebody told me, I guess they wanted to call me because they heartbroken. And at this time, it wasn't blocked. And he was telling me how he got stood up. And I always wanted a picnic date at this museum. And he tried to take somebody and they stood him up. I don't know if that person was trying to trigger me. Like, y'all just, de y'all deserve the best, you know? And that's why I move slow. But it's nothing wrong saying, you know, you like someone. You could like someone. But then I even noticed there'll be men, there'll be women, even women saying it, mostly. The guy acting like he's single, whole time he got a girl, but he like you. Why are you doing that? That's misleading as fuck. Same thing with a guy, like you could be liking a girl, she got a girl, a, a whole girlfriend, a whole boyfriend lying that she's single. I'm telling you, like, people got one relationship left. Some people don't even got that. Because with the talking stage, that should be ruining it. People don't, like, I feel like the ones that judge you for what you don't got in your wallet, you shouldn't even be around them. Because when you up and then when you down again, because God will test them, because you didn't took this first red flag when they was laughing at you when you was down. Now that you don't got no money, they, this person don't want to be around, but you was around them. That's the crazy thing. A lot of women, a lot of men was around people and you loved them. That's a, that's a different type of love. That's some pure love. You was around them when they ain't had shit. When they ain't had no money, when they ain't had no motion, helping them make motion. And you tell them you're going to dog that person out? That's crazy. That's fucking wild to me. And you want, you expect me to trust you? You expect me to trust you after you did that shit. It breaks my heart. I, I love the creator that made this video, but it really does break my heart. Because how could you? to the number one person that would do anything to make sure you were straight. Now I got this weirdo standing. I don't know what she was doing. Like, I saw her. I saw something. But it's just so sad. Like, you did all that, what, to break a person? That's why I stay away from people that don't got their shit together. Because they're going to be corrupted. They're going to be mad, taking that anger out on you. They're going to see you joyful, thriving, making life easy. And they just got to put the work in it and they get mad at you. That jealousy, that envy. Like, nah, bro. I can't stand people like that. You're the one person that was there for you. Like, that don't make no sense.